if this movie doesn't do this, you set the scene, it's like the final battle. Mario's got to go run through this obstacle course of lava and flames being thrown everywhere. Mario is on his own. There's no Luigi. There's no Peach. There's nobody. There's no Donkey Kong. He's on his own. It's him versus Jack Black's Bowser. He drops down from the ceiling and then all you hear is this. <laughs> Final trailer of my most anticipated movie this year and flipping hell man. <laughs> you got Creed 3, you got Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Ant-Man Quantum Mania. You, you got all these films, but my most anticipated is this one, this kids movie. This movie for little kiddies is my favourite. Um, most anticipated movie this year. I hope it doesn't let me down. It's because they've done such a good job with it. It's saying I grew up on the video games and all that, and it looks like it's going to be a better video game movie than The Last of Us. Well, that's a TV show, but you know what I mean. And we're just going to check out the trailer right now because the final trailer, I can't wait to watch this film, watching it day one with a whole bunch of kids. It's going to be in there embarrassing. <laughs> Sitting there with... I don't know, my fiance, maybe my sisters, and a whole bunch of kids. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe, it's, maybe I'll be shocked, maybe it'll be a whole bunch of adults. I mean, it's, it's us lot that grew up with this. this is, Mario's our shit from the 80s, 80s babies, 90s kids, you know? That's our shit, really. But anyway, Mario's for everyone. Let's check out the trailer, the final trailer for the Super Mario Bros. Ikazo, hope it's sick. Oh, Luigi's definitely the princess being captured. <laughs> The heck? Pay him no heed. He is cute, but he is. There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh, no nice day, Charlie Days, Luigi. Is the sweet relief. Like the music. Whoa! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> My army, Koopas, Goombas, whatever those things are. What? <laughs> he doesn't know what his own things are. It makes sense, actually. Anything for my brother. We're going to say people gonna like that or hate that voice. I don't mind it. Oh snap! He got the firepower. Yo, this looks wild. <laughs> oh snap, the Mario Kart stuff girl. Oh damn. There's gonna be a whole Proper Mario Kart scene. Yo, there's gonna be some cool scenes in this film, man. <laughs> nice. Yo, man, I cannot wait for this film. Alright, that looks sick. That looks sick. I cannot wait for this damn movie, man. It looks so good. It looks so good. Um. Only one thing though, like they've made it clear that Luigi's going to be a prisoner for most of this movie and Peach is going to be helping Mario to save him and that. And um, I mean, it's happened. I think it's happened in the games before, but this is like the first movie of this potential franchise. And you know, the classic story is Mario and his brother Luigi go to the Mushroom Kingdom to face Bowser and save Peach. They've changed that now and, and, and it does feel like the whole current time, current year we're in and they're trying to pander to that aesthetic of the strong, powerful woman and that she can't be saved, especially the damsel in distress trope. The damsel in distress trope has been old for a while. Like it's been so old, people have been trying to do the opposite of the damsel in distress trope for so long that it's kind of gone back in a circle. Now, it would actually be quite a, kind of refreshing to see a damsel in distress today because we've seen so many strong, powerful women characters all the time. It would be interesting, if it would be shocking if they actually did have Peach to be the one that's rescued, even though that's what you see in the games all the time. It's like almost become a joke. 
it's weird that they're not going to try and reference it in some way. Maybe they will. I don't know. I think they should because it's almost like a part of the Mario makeup to have Peach be rescued. Because that's all Mario ever does. He always rescues the princess. That's that's why she's a princess. That was the initial idea. Is she's got to be rescued. Um, that's the only thing. Like, and the only reason I even have a problem with it is not because I think they shouldn't. Uh, I think it has to be done or anything like that. They can do different stuff. It's just that I know the reason why they're not doing it. And it's because of this pandering to this current time. And I just hate how the politics of the current time influences creative decisions that probably otherwise wouldn't have been done. Like big changes to what's already been established. It would be a different thing if it was a creative decision to to do that. But it's, you know it's not. You know it's just to be like, oh, can we have a damsel in distress? That would be pretty problematic these days. Or we should just, how about we swap Luigi out for prin the princess? Yeah, yeah. And then the other issue is because Luigi's going to be kidnapped for probably what looks like to be most the movie, we're not going to get to see Luigi do his thing. How's he going to learn to be a Super Mario brother, you know? Like, he's, where we gonna, where's he going to learn his moves from? And is he going to be able to use a fire flower and do all the cool things he does in the game? There's, there's Luigi fans out there that strictly play as Luigi. They're like, nah, nah, fuck Mario and play as Luigi, man. He's my guy. And now he's just trapped in the thing. He's not, I mean, he, I'm sure there's been games where he has to be rescued, but that's not what he's really known for. You know, he's, he's, he's the tag team of Mario. It's like, it should be more of like a buddy cop sort of type movie. Where's Mario and Luigi together? But, you know, we had to lose that. But anyway, <laughs> um, that's that's my only issue. Other than, other, other than that, this looks perfect. Oh, there's one more thing. If this movie doesn't do this, it needs to do this. You set the scene. It's like the final battle. Mario's got to go run through this obstacle course of lava and flames being thrown everywhere. Mario... He's on his own. There's no Luigi. There's no Peach. There's nobody. There's no Donkey Kong. He's on his own. It's him versus Jack Black's Bowser. You know, Chris Pratt's Mario versus Jack Black's Bowser. He drops down from the ceiling and then all you hear is this. <laughs> if that's a, I need to hear that shit, man, in this movie. I need to hear this song. I swear down. <laughs> that would be so fucking hard man it'll be so good obviously like an orchestral version they've already they've already shown they're using so much of the music from the game you know but bowser's road if they do bowser's road oh my god man i'll be so hyped if they, that's all i want to see bowser's road and Mary, while he's whipping Bowser's ass, you know, even though that's Bowser's music, it's Bowser's, yeah, Bowser's road, it's, it's the journey to Bowser, they need to pl put that uh, track on there, man, that's the one soundtrack I'm hoping, I'm, I, have, I have confidence they could do it, if they don't do it, the film still looks amazing, probably still going to be my favourite movie of the year, but, but if they do that, chef's kiss, Bowser's road at the end, in the final fight some point, I hope so, we'll see, anyway. Thanks for watching, that's my reaction. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of my thoughts. And please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for notifications. And I'll see you again soon. Peace.